I started uh, seventh grade, and I was the most unathletic person. <laughs> um, after six years of running, I think I should kind of be honest. And there, um, I wish I could say that it was spontaneous that I joined, but um, or that Dita was drag me into it. But that's not true. Um, the only two reasons I came out for cross country. Um, maybe three, if you count the fact that the sport doesn't have cuts, which was very appealing <laughs> for me. Um, I really like the sweatshirts because every every sport had a sweatshirt, and I was like, oh, and I just want like a sweatshirt for a sport. I feel like I would like fit in better in school, and I didn't have one, so that was good. I could have two because like track, and but um, then also I'm very. Even more now, but I was very like into college applications and stuff, right? And I was like, it's not going good if I don't have any extracurriculars. So I should probably join cross country because I had this big plan of, you know, going to So um, I decided to run Labor Day 5K before seventh grade. And, um, you know, I started out the first mile was great. I ran with um, two girls. They're they don't even run anymore, but uh, they were really keeping me going, and I had a really great mile pace. It was like, I'd say like a seven minutes or something, which is, which is good. And um, But after that mile, it just slowly started to get hard, and like everything tightened up. And soon enough, I was walking next to my mom, who was walking the race. <laughs> Junior, junior is good. Um, 
Uh, but that's when I started to really, you know, get to compete. And once you get past that point, um, I learned to love the sport because I was hurt, not because I ran. And um, just the longing for wanting to be out there and seeing you guys put everything into your races. And um, I, I was a fan. I was just, I don't know, it was great. Um, basically, I don't know why I'm not reading from this. I, <laughs> I haven't read anything on the sheet. Um, uh, hold on, maybe I should just jump in. Um, so anyway, uh, let's see. <laughs> um, I savored every step when I came back because I knew how harsh it was and I didn't take it for granted. Um, being on this team is a gift and I'm so thankful that and I appreciate it because of the trial that went there early on. And if there was a time where it would be easy to give up and quit, it was that point. But I knew I would miss it out on the, the rush you feel when you cross the finish line or complete a seemingly impossible workout. And when you tell yourself, like, I put my all into that, and you know that you actually did. And um, more than that, I would miss the moments when you're by yourself in the woods in the middle of the race. And you begin to lose faith, and you're just like, oh, if I slow down, I think it would really happen. Or I could, like, fake having, you know, a heart attack, like I only had it many times. <laughs> but um, you don't do that, because you look down at your uniform, and you remember that you're not alone, and you have all your teammates out there just putting in as much work out, and much work into it as you are, and, um, and all the people that came before you, and you carry on, and you push a little harder, and you finish the race, and you finish strong, and I fall in love with the sport, and I knew that I didn't want my run career to end without completing the four years. Um, running is definitely a uh, metaphor for life, even though that's really corny, but um, like all the hills that we climb and everybody having a team and everything is just doing your best is a decision and there are so many easy ways out of the sport. But just by coming to practice every day you prove that you don't want a way out and you want to be a part of it all. And I realize that excuses don't satisfy me at all, even if they satisfy others. Like if I say like, oh my, my shoe is untied, I could run like 10 seconds faster. I don't believe that, like, even though it could be true, but, um, <laughs> you never know, I don't, um, sometimes you lose your way in the woods, but if you stand on the path and finish and dodge some obstacles, such as the roots and puddles, you'll prevail, and that's exactly how it is in life. Um, being on this team, um, I realized what a team sport really was, and, um, even though a lot of people say it's an individual sport, it, it's really not because I wouldn't be able to do it without any of them. And, um, but beyond that team, there's a family runners that all around the world and you just have this bond that you instantly connect with. And um, at Five Star over the summer, like, we always, you meet those people and instantly you feel like you know them because they know what you go through and somehow they understand that crazy reason why you run. Um, just like listening to like Dick Beardsley and uh, I had, I ran this 5K uh, at Ocean and there was this lady dressed as Wonder Woman and she ran next to me the whole race until I started like gagging and then she was like, oh, I just, like, can't do it here. But like, they're just like crazy people and it's just, it's amazing because you know that you're just like them. Um, I mean, I don't dress up, but I don't. Um, there are days when the last thing I want to do is run, but the worst thing I can do in that situation is not run. Because at the end of the day, if everything else is in shambles, I can be proud of myself because I was able to have a great workout or even just finish a workout, and that's enough to put a positive spin on like any situation. Um, if you can run, you can basically do anything because running is life. So. Um, I wouldn't be able to do any of this out without like the people that I'm going to mention. I want to say like one person that's like, oh. That's the only, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm the worst speech giver right now. Um, so, of course, one of my, uh, I'm, I'm so, we're so lucky that you came to our team. And um, it's, it was truly a unique experience to run for a Purple Ghost. And um, it, it was more that, than having a coach, it was having a teammate to look up to and knowing that you know what we went through. It was, uh, you want, to, you want to understand exactly how important it is for all of us to run in the work uniform and the pressure that comes along with it, the honor and the commitment. And uh, you really helped me with my shoe addiction. 
obviously I do that. So anyway, um, Coach first, uh, I didn't really know how to sum up how important you've been to me in the past four years. I actually wrote down on paper. Uh, you don't have, I said, I thought I would save it for tonight to come up with what I'm going to say to see if I can actually do justice. Cause I, I don't think I will be able to, but um, anyone can put up with close to 40 teenage girls a day deserves an award or a medal of honor or something because we're, I mean, I mean we're not bad, but it's, it's definitely difficult. And um, you're definitely my family to me, and uh, sometimes I actually get confused if I am related to you and I try to think if I am. And a lot of the girls say that they agree with that, which is actually kind of cool. So we're like, you really are a family. Uh, um, and you always know what to say. Um, no matter if I'm hurt and it's like it seems hopeless, or if I have a good race, or if I have an awful race, or I'm just crying, I don't know. But somehow you know the right thing to say, and it always makes me feel better. And um, to my brother Derek, uh, thank you for always supporting me and being. Oh, my, my biggest cheerleader. Um, when we were younger, you always did all the sports like baseball, basketball, taekwondo, soccer, even like ball of lacrosse, like once I'm like, no, you're gonna do with that. But um, I don't know. I, I'm just so proud that you ended up part of this cult and instead of doing all that. Um, like, now you're doing three seasons of running and I'm just so happy. And, um, Seeing you do well and enjoy the sport that I love so much brings me more happiness than competing myself. And you're so much wiser than I am already in so many ways and still makes me think. So, for some reason, you know when they're younger than you and you, you don't really understand how they're getting so, I don't know. He's, he's like a baby, just like us with you. Um, <laughs> kind of, uh, so, thank you and I don't know how I'm going to do without you this year, but um, when I wrote this, uh, I, I cried a lot. I, I, I haven't cried at all, so I think it's like a comic relief of me like, like cutting into parts. But um, to my mom, uh, you're my best friend, and your motivation and your pep talks every day is, even for running or practice or just everyday life, it's, it's the best. And your text messages, even if they have like a typo that ends up being even funnier than what you're trying to say, it's, it's great. <laughs> So, and uh, to my dad, um, he's always there for me, and he tries to get to everything he can, and that's so important. And I remember uh, the county meet this year, I didn't think he'd come because he was working, and um, when I saw him, I just like burst into tears, and it was just, it meant so much because my parents care so much about me running and everything I do. And um, I want to thank my team. Uh, I wrote, go for it, speak from the heart. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so I remember crying with you guys after the Labor Day 5K this year and saying, like, oh, it's my last 5K, but um, there were plenty of times to cry after that. And same thing with the BDS Invitational, we just, that's rough. Because, I, I don't know, I just, I don't want to give you guys up. You're the best. And you know, I don't know, I mean, we ended up having a great season, but in the beginning, we were a little rough. And, um, but I still consider this the best season I've ever had, um, a team wise, because everyone is a unit. And um, I could go to literally any of you and be comfortable and come to any of you like, for help. And um, you're all just, you're my best friend. It's like, it, it's amazing. And um, uh, as Coach Burst mentioned earlier, I was really upset after my last race um, because I never run for work again. I mean, in track, but that doesn't count at all for me. Um, <laughs> like, it, we're not even gonna, don't look at my times, it's just the way. Um, but it, it was really upsetting because this team, you're not gonna find a team anywhere else that has like the legacy and the people behind it, like the Purple Ghost. And um, I, I thought I would really never run again because uh, I was questioning it. Um, because I didn't think I'd want to run for another team. And um, yesterday I found out that I'm going to Basket College and I'm running for their team. And I, I hope that they can live up to your expectations, that, like the high standards that you guys set. But I don't know. So we'll see. I mean, I, I can't give up the sport. 
I love it too much. So. Thank you guys for making that possible.